If you guys saw my video last week, super fun video. I got this AR-15 attachment that threads onto the AR-15 and it launches golf balls. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But last year I made a video with the What's Inside family channel and we were attempting to break a world record where his son Lincoln was hitting golf balls from 200 plus yards away and I was back trying to catch it. I was wearing like a padded glove and stuff. So like when they hit, obviously it stung for a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. But that got me thinking once I got this AR-15 golf ball, ball launcher like I wanted to know what it would do to a hand if you tried to catch this thing if you got hit by one of the golf balls you know what I mean so today in these gloves right here I've got some of my homemade ballistic gel and it is molded into a hand shape I'm gonna cut them open in just a second so we can see what they look like there's also a company called ballistic dummy lab I think is what it's called and they make awesome stuff if, in, if anyone has connections with them I would love some of your stuff like it's absolutely insane they make all sorts of different full torsos with like blood they also have hands they're 125 bucks though so i didn't buy them for today maybe a future video maybe let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see but for right now i'm gonna cut open my homemade ballistic hands and see what they look like i take back what i said if anyone from ballistic dummy lab is watching this and wants to hire me i'm available look at these things i'm actually super pleased with this so i'll do a close some close-up shots right here i've got one hand just ballistic gel nothing inside of it and then after i made that one i wanted to do like one with bones inside so i've got one in with a plastic skeleton hand inside and i filled it with my own homemade blood so overall super pleased with these i mean they look like freaking hands look at that thing that is so cool and this one's a little bit funny because the thumb bone actually didn't want to go where the thumb was so it shoved up in this pointer finger so this pointer finger has two bones and this thumb right here has no bones kind of cool but those bones do give it quite a bit of structure this do this high five bro the hardest part about all this is gonna be getting a good shot off these golf balls they just fly randomly here's the blanks that we shoot if you have not seen them there's no actual bullet or projectile just the casing and powder and so the only thing that gets launched out of here is that golf ball all you do is you take your golf ball this is a Callaway Warbird slide it down there load your blank in we should be good to go I don't even know if I hit it honestly something happened Ooh, dang, I lost a thumb. My thumb is complete, completely missing, so I must have hit it right on that thumb area. I don't see any other damage to any of the fingers or anything like that. Got some dirt from when it fell, but wow. I wish I had like a super slow motion camera. That would be awesome. This ballistic gel, what it does is it represents like skin and flesh and muscle. I think it's safe to say that your thumb would be in a lot of pain if you tried to catch this. Shoot it again. Okay, now let's see if we can hit this thing one more time. Golf balls in there, ready to go. Oh. oh! Nothing really crazy. Oh, I think I grazed it. So I don't think that was there before. So I think I just grazed the thumb again. I gotta aim in a different spot. Okay, one more shot with this one before I switch to the other hand. Here we go. I don't know where the heck I'm hitting. I tried watching it back on that tiny GoPro screen. I think I'm hitting it low. So let's figure this out. Oh yeah, that was a hit. That was a hit for sure. 100% saw that one. From what I could see on that one, just watching it, I think I hit like the wrist area. Let's pick it up and see. Ooh, yeah. Got some cuts right there. Nothing too major. I don't expect the bones on the inside to break because it is plastic. Nothing close to being, to like representing real bones. We gotta shoot this thing again. We gotta take some fingers off. Let's try and take off some fingers. Here we go. Ah, miss. Let's try again. Oh yeah, that, that was a good hit. Oh yeah. We definitely gotta go check this one out. Here we go. It's right here on the table 
and it went, launched it all the way back here. Oh no, 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 no. We got bones exposed. Blood is coming out right there. Oh, oh no, my finger, and I'm bleeding out. That is a mess completely ripped this hand apart. I've got a finger laying on the ground in a pile of blood. You can see right where I hit it, right there, dead center in this hand, holy cow. Literally dripping blood right now. Not blood, it's actually snow cone flavoring. So this is like tiger's blood snow cone flavors. If this wasn't a plastic skeleton hand, Halloween decoration, and was actually something that represented bones, your hand would be shattered. 100%. Got two fingers just dangling, one finger completely off on the ground, you have no hand after that. When I was trying to break the world record with Dan and Lincoln, um, definitely did not have this kind of damage to my hand. It didn't even hurt, it stung for a couple seconds and then it was done and I was ready to try catching them again, but holy cow, this, it wouldn't kill you, but it would hurt. And that's exactly what I wanted to show today. I promise one day on this channel, I will have a decent slow motion camera. I'll revisit all this stuff to try and get good slow-mo shots because I'm sure that would look so cool. There's so dang expensive. Anyways, I enjoyed filming it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So if you did enjoy it, make sure and give this video a thumbs up, share it so other people can see it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.